Are you struggling to lose fat no matter how hard you train and no matter how hard you diet? No matter you calculated all your calories, uh, deducted certain amount of calories, created the perfect diet with the perfect balance between carbohydrates, protein, and fat, but you're still not losing fat. Well, the most likely, the reason for that is actually your hormonal balance. With the diet that you're doing and the training that you're doing, you are simply not stimulating hormones which, produce, which cause fat burn. Now, in this video, I will show you how low-carbohydrate diets can reset your hormonal balance and get you into fat burning mode. I'm Dr. Nash Jocic, bodybuilding champion. I have uh, won 17 titles. I competed 46 times around the world. I have been in the industry for 40 years. I have trained more than 3,000 clients and also I'm a public speaker and author. I've published hundreds of articles and also books. And on my website, Nash Fit Training. Dot com on the page shop you can find uh, nine ebooks that i have published for you which cover everything from fat loss muscle growth a beginner's uh, training program um, uh, training for arms bodybuilding lifestyle change and similar subjects now in this video <clears throat> i um, i want to talk to you about low carbohydrate diets and how they impact hormones which are responsible for fat loss. Now, there are few hormones which are simply critical in your fat loss journey. We're going to start with the number one hormone, which is very powerful, most important in this case, and this hormone is called insulin. Now, insulin is produced by pancreas and is absolutely necessary hormone because insulin is the one that delivers um, amino acids and glucose to the cells of the body, especially muscle cells. Now, the problem is when you produce too much insulin or when you have insulin spikes, insulin in that case starts taking most of your glucose into the fat cells. Now, when your uh, glycogen stores are full, and in the most cases, for most of the people, for most of the time, uh, glycogen stores are always full. So if you eat more carbohydrates that you actually need, you will start uh, accumulating that extra glucose, extra carbohydrates into fat because there is no other way to go. And uh, we do fill up our glycogen stores relatively quickly, not necessarily with high amount of, car of carbohydrates, but we also use, uh, there, is a, uh, <coughs> uh, there is a process in the body called uh, gluconeogenesis, which turns protein into glucose and therefore glucose into glycogen if necessary. So there are all different mechanisms of actually filling up those glycogen stores. So you have to be very careful with the amount of carbs that you eat. Most of the people are actually um, uh, going to store fat if they eat higher amounts of carbohydrates. So insulin you can regard as a fat storage hormone. And that hormone goes up when you eat carbohydrates or high amount of carbohydrates. Uh, also... There is another hormone which is very important, and that hormone is actually fat-burning hormone, and it's called glucagon. Now, glucagon is also produced by pancreas, and we produce glucagon when our carbohydrate intake is low. So glucagon gets released and actually starts uh, breaking down uh, fat cells into fatty acids and glycerol. Now, while insulin uh, triggers enzyme, which is called lipoprotein lipase, which actually locks fat cells and doesn't allow fatty acids and glycerol to leave, but allows uh, attachment to glucose and takes glucose in and turns into fatty acids. Uh, glucagon has a different enzymes in play, which uh, triggers different enzymes, which is called the uh, hormone-sensitive lipase. That hormone-sensitive lipase basically breaks down uh, fat cells into, into fatty acids and glycerol and then they get released into the bloodstream and use as energy. So you, you basically need these enzymes in order to, you need a hormone-sensitive lipase in order to break fat cells and to release fatty acids and glycerol into the bloodstream. If that doesn't happen, you're not going to lose fat. So this is, this is clear-cut physiology. There is nothing else there. 
Now, on a low calorie diet, you may be losing weight, but you're not going to be losing fat if most of your low calorie diet is actually made of carbohydrates. And this is unfortunately the case most of the time in most of the dieters. Uh, there are another two hormones which are very important and directly related to our states of either hunger or satiety. So hormone which is responsible for hunger is called ghrelin and the one responsible for satiety, satiety hormone, is leptin. Now, high-carbohydrate diets stimulate ghrelin and suppress leptin. So basically, high-carbohydrate diet will trigger the hormone for hunger more and you will be hungry more often. While low-carbohydrate diets mainly made of protein and moderate amount of fat, will actually stimulate leptin. And this is why after a meal which is high in protein and relatively high in fat, you will feel full for longer. So these two hormones are also directly impacted by amount of carbohydrates in your diet. And low-carbohydrate diet, again, will stimulate your favorable hormone, hormone of satiety, which is leptin. And that will help you burn body fat. Now, the next uh, hormone, which is very important, this is called the uh, hormone of youth, and is actually important because it uh, rejuvenates all the tissues and, and, and organs in the body, including muscles, but not all, only that. It also increases muscle mass, while at the same time uh, metabolizes fat. So it's very powerful fat-burning hormone, and it's called growth hormone. Now, growth hormone and insulin are incompatible. When insulin is high, growth hormone is low. This is why naturally we produce growth hormone when insulin is low. And this is during the sleep. So uh, these are things that we have evolved around for hundreds of thousands of years. And simply those two hormones, they compete for the same receptors on the cell, on the cells. And insulin is much more aggressive, much more powerful. So growth hormone won't won't be doing much. But when you are, when insulin is low, meaning when your carbohydrate intake is low, you will be producing more growth hormone. So you see another uh, great benefit of this uh, low carbohydrate diets. And uh, the last thing I want to I mention here is actually insulin sensitivity. So by eating low carbohydrate diets, not only that you will be burning more body fat physiologically uh, you will because you will be triggering favorable hormones like glucagon, growth hormone, and leptin, but you will also improve dramatically your metabolic health, meaning you will increase your insulin sensitivity. So when your insulin sensitivity is high, that means that the cells will, will be uh, always <clears throat> supplied with enough glucose and amino acids with very little amount of insulin in the blood because when when the receptors are open lower levels of insulin will deliver great job but when the receptor starts closing you become slowly insulin resistance and therefore the body will start producing more insulin in order to solve the problem because now the entry the receptors on the cells are closing and you will be receiving less glucose and amino acids. So the first reaction is that pancreas produces more insulin. But that takes you to hyperinsulinemia, which is the main culprit to all cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, diabetes type 2, and also uh, many cancers. So you see how important is insulin sensitivity. But how do you get there? Well, low-carbohydrate diets will make cells open their receptors because they will be looking for as much glucose and amino acids as possible and lower amount of insulin will become more efficient than much higher amounts of insulin which are produced in the case of insulin resistance which is caused by high carbohydrate diets. So guys, uh, I know many of you are in your 20s or maybe early 30s, you don't care about these things, right? You don't care about your metabolic health. You don't care about insulin sensitivity. But you should stop and think and then incorporate everything that I have just said and try to regulate your carbohydrates down to the necessary minimum 
because you only need X amount of carbohydrates and you will be surprised that that amount is not as high as you think, all right? So you should be eating as little as you, as, as you really need. So when people are younger, they are naturally more insulin sensitive, but with age, insulin sensitivity goes down. We become less insulin sensitive. We, be, we start becoming more insulin resistant. This is why that people over 40, 50 should be really careful about eating carbohydrates and eating too much carbohydrates. So this insulin sensitivity should be a priority, not only for people over 40, 50, but also for everyone. And uh, I think uh, there is only one thing uh, left to mention, and this is uh, and, uh, an a counter argument that some people say, oh, I try low carbohydrate diets, but uh, you know, I feel tired, I'm lethargic, I don't have energy, I don't have strength, I cannot sleep. And uh, yes, this is true. This happens often. And this happens because people don't know how to follow low-carbohydrate diet. Uh, I have done many videos on that subject, so please uh, help yourself, uh, listen to them, watch my videos, and you will understand how to conduct right low-carbohydrate diet. Because most often when people think about it, they just reduce all, all amount of carbs that they have eaten in the past, maybe two, three, four hundred grams a day, and then continue eating the same amount of protein and the same amount of fat as they were eating before. Usually when people eat high amount of carbs, the fat intake is very low, is around 50 or less. And protein is probably around 200 for majority of people, not more, 250. But now when you cut your carbohydrates, you need to increase your fat intake and also protein intake in order to compensate for the necessary amount of calories that you will need. So if you don't do that, you will be cutting, you will, you will actually gonna, you will go on a very low calorie diet. And this is the problem. It's not low carb diet, it's low calorie diet. But unfortunately, many end up doing that simply because of lack of knowledge or lack of experience. But if you do this properly, correctly, you will adjust within a week and you will feel completely opposite. Instead of being lethargic and less energetic and foggy mind and all that, things will be opposite. You will be full of energy. You will be active all the time. Your mind is going to be very clear. These this are symptoms that people experience in a few days going on low-carbohydrate diets. So, yeah, beware of this, what I just said. And uh, much more about uh, low-carbohydrate diets you will, you will find in my uh, other videos as well. So I hope I have delivered the message. And uh, what you should remember is actually that uh, low-carbohydrate diet, diets will help you reset your hormones and get you in the favorable hormonal balance or position so you will be producing more glucagon, you will be producing more leptin and also more growth hormone. And all these hormones will help you burn fat. So if you are even on the low-calorie diet, but you are not in the good hormonal frame or window, you will be losing weight, but that weight will not go from fat, it will go from muscles. So once again, you need to have these hormones set up properly in order to burn body fat. Because to lose weight is easy. I mentioned that so many times. But to lose body fat, that's not easy, it's difficult. But now you know the main reason why sometimes people try so hard and they diet hard, but they don't lose fat. They may lose weight, but not fat. So guys, uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe if you didn't and also uh, like this video. I, also, I would also appreciate your comments and uh, again, uh, please visit my website uh, uh, where you, you will find nine different ebooks which cover all these essential topics that we are constantly talking about, muscle growth, fat loss, uh, nutrition, uh, high protein, low carb diets, lifestyle change, training for beginners, and similar. And my ebooks, as you know, they are they are fully packed with detailed information about all these subjects, and they have helped thousands around the world in the last fifteen years to to achieve fantastic results. So um, until the next video, <clears throat> take care of yourselves and all the best.